Hello from the homestead. It's been about a week and two or three days since I had the great flood here and been able to recover a little bit, not a whole lot. Mainly been waiting for the water to recede a little bit. And it has, it's back down to, uh, I don't know, much, much closer to its normal depth now, but still have a lot of erosion around the culvert area and that has not been fixed yet. So we're gonna actually start on this today. Let me show you what we're gonna do. So this area still looks horrible, but one good thing that we were able to do, you can see all that rock there. That rock actually got piled up as high as the culvert piping. So the culvert piping was actually plugged up with a lot of stuff, branches and fences, but then that rock was plugged up on the outside of it as well. Surprisingly, we were able to get in there with just shovels and a garden hoe. And uh, we also pulled the fence out using a chain and, and hooking that onto the back of the, of the truck. But we were able to kind of get that water flowing through the pipe again before it was going all around the pipe and causing this erosion. So that was a really big step for us to get that done. The problem is, you can see in the pipe, it's still, you know, halfway full, or a couple of those are halfway full of creek rock. So we've got to get that out, of course. And the other problem is all the all this creek rock that washed from the flooding event itself, this was not all here before. And so we gotta dig all this out and uh, we're gonna pile it up here on the bank. And then I think the plan is we're gonna use that as we rebuild the culvert. But what I'm wanting to do for these eroded areas, there's larger rock, some people call it riprap. I think some of other people call it bull rock, but I want to get some loads of that. I think that that will help with the erosion. And then of course we'll put more of the smaller rock on top of the, uh, the actual piping itself and maybe some small rock on top of the bull rock or riprap as well. 